A gasopod. I think Farty Boy sounds a little bit more scientific. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Farty Boy as the scientific name. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I have labeled this episode one of the new series because I'm starting from scratch here. I have played it before, but I was kind of keeping it on a, like on a stream by stream basis. Some of you may have already seen that, uh, but I said, you know what? There's been a graphics overhaul. This is the, you know, I, I believe it's the full release. So if you guys want to see more of Subnautica, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below and tingle that bell. Oh my god, I love the intro to this game. Three, two, one. one! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Things are getting hectic, Captain! We must abort the mission! Oh, and we just got smacked in the face. All right, we got our dinkles donkled, but that doesn't mean that we're going to give up now. Let's go, let's go. Let's get it. Turn that fire down. I'm trying to get some work done. It's because I dropped my mixtape in here. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's see what we got. Booting in emergency mode. Adding a little bit of uh, auto tune. You have suffered minor head trauma. Minor. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Sounds Please like a plan. Refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay. Oh, we already listened to that. Cool. Inventory, we've got that. Let's check over here. Warning. A circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Radio offline. Distress signal broadcast failed. Flotation devices deployed. Hull integrity. Okay. <laughs> well, at least the hull integrity is okay. So we got our little solar things there. Our fabricator is done. Our damaged secondary system. Okay. Perfect. We're not looking too good, dudes. We need a repair tool to get our radio going. Hello? What was that little dude? Uh-oh. Hello, friend. What are you guys? I don't remember these dudes being around. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. All right. Sounds like a splendid way to start the day. Let's go ahead and go for a casual swim. Oh. Getting your feet wet. Alright. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of scrap metal here. Oh, well, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, I'm gonna need some resources, so I'm gonna get some... Some peepers. I forgot that I needed oxygen. <laughs> also, one thing that I don't understand is getting the water from the fish. Like, the, uh, the purple fish? I can't remember what they're called. But, uh, yeah, these dudes, the bladder fish. Like, does he just suck the water out of the fish? I'm not sure. Ooh, I love how it tells you break limestone. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your yes, it is. Of survival has just increased to unlikely, <laughs> oh my god, I love that. You are probably going to die, but less likely. This game's hilarious. I love it. And honestly, I can feel the optimizations. I can. Because before you would dive into the water, you'd move around, and it was all jittery. But we're running it. Hey, hello? Did somebody just toot in the water? But now that it's optimized, I might might uh, do a series on this. Like, once every couple days, once a week. What do you guys think? Should I do one once a week? Oxygen. Ooh, thank you for the notification. <laughs> right, we're getting a little too far from our our pod yes oh oh 
Oh man, I totally forgot about those dudes. Okay, let me get these quartz. I gotta get to the surface again. Oh my god, that actually freaked me out. I forgot about how many dangers there are in Subnautica. The dangers of Subnautica. The underwater world of Subnautica. Okay, sustenance. Cooked food. Let's go ahead and cook our peepers. Just radiate it. While disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Electronics, battery, okay. Titanium, a basic building material. I feel like we're gonna need more titanium than, uh, than, uh, whatchamacallit, glass. Let me drink up some of this water. Where's my food? Cooked peeper. Mmm, peeper. That sounds disgusting. Could you imagine going to someone's house and they're like, Excuse me, would you like to try my peeper? I freshly grilled my peeper. <laughs> I do need to build a repair tool, so what do I need for that? Tools. Repair tool. Silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Okay, so silicone rubber is here, and that's two creepvine seed clusters. Okay, cool. And we're also going to need a... Uh, cave sulfur, which comes from those things that like shoot out, the one that freaked me out earlier. Okay, hello buddy. I can never tell if something is cute or dangerous. You just never know in this game. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm heading towards the seed clusters. So I'm going to pick up as many of those as I can. We also got to explore the uh, junk section right there this is really dangerous i know that some creepy creepies hang around here oh i can hear it oh oxygen i hope that's enough oh. okay all right i'm pretty sure that that's enough there's so much rubber how many of those things does this make? Alright, that should be enough. Holy! I did not think I was going to be making that much. Equipment? Fins! Yes! Got our little flippy floppies. I don't know why I always get worried. Using locally available materials. Okay. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. For my safety. Okay. If you say so, madam. I hear some... Okay, okay. Okay, good. So we're gonna get air and we're gonna go straight into that cave. Alright, let's go. Nothing else. We're just looking for the sulfur. Be advised. A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Oh! Oh! Holy shiznit! Did you guys see- Oh! He's coming after me! This rude boy. Oh my god. I haven't even done anything. I'm gonna go and explore this different cave over here. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Cave Sulfur. Yes. Maybe this is the cave she was talking about. Repair tool. Let's go. Boom. Oh, I'm a handyman. Repairing all of the things. Lightpod secondary systems online. Run yes. full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Okay. Online. Outgoing radio communication is, is still offline. Okay, we got to repair that then. We have a message. Ninety-nine thousand hours. Actually, ninety-nine thousand hours. I don't know. 
You guys do the math. <laughs> Flotation devices deployed. Hull integrity, okay. Environment, uncharted ocean planet, oxygen, atmosphere, waterborne, bacteria levels high. Okay. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and build ourselves anything. Oh, a survival knife. Okay. Hmm, that could be useful. I'm going to build that right now. Weapons slot. were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. The knife is an original primitive tool. I'm thinking scanner. Okay, so what do we need for the scanner? Battery. So let's go ahead and build up a battery right now. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Intense sounds. Electronics. Basic glass materials. Tools. Scanner. Let's go. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay, cool. I'm scanning all the dudes. Indigenous life forms. Rabbit ray. What is a rabbit ray? A herbivorous. Herbivorous. A herbivorous aquatic life form. Rabbit rays appear to live serene and solitary lives with few predators, a natural sense of curiosity, and awesomely poisonous flesh. <laughs> okay. Good thing that we haven't caught one. Um, let's go ahead and head over to the junkyard area, which is in this direction, I believe. It's a good thing that they put that ship there, though, because I would not be able to orient myself. To, like, just imagine diving down into the, the depths of the ocean. How disorienting that can be. What are these? Hello? Floater? What is a floater? Two species living in symbiosis, which can which attach to and attempt to feed on any object they come in contact with. Okay! I'm going to back up from you. Thank you very much, floaters. But I want nothing to do with you. If you're going to try to eat me, I'm going to try to eat you. How about that? All right. Let's go. Junkyard time, boys. Oh. I thought it said a crap fragment. It was not the case. Oh, the sea glide. Yes. We need that. We got anything in these boxes over here? Nothing. Nothing. Cargo. Nothing. Cool. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. If we had that sea glider. Oh. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'm out of here for a second. Let me get some air and collect myself. On the plus side, we just got a little bit of sulfur. Cave sulfur. I didn't know there were two dudes, though. Let me snag this up. Thank you. And thank you, you creepy-ass little character boys. A graph trap. Okay. I'm going to scan this. I'm like a little boy at a, at a, a store just freaking scanning everything. <laughs> <laughs> just what is this what is this what are those oxygen. oh shoot oxygen i forgot about that oh those are the farty boys you want to see why i call them the farty boys when you get over to the farty boys they just i guess you spoop them a little or something there you go farty boy A gasopod. I think Farty Boy sounds a little bit more scientific. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Farty Boy as the scientific name. Oh, a counter. To do all of my works on them. Ooh, Sea Glide. Yes! We got the Sea Glide, dudes. Come here. Thank you, Peeper. Thank you, you Peeper. Let's see what we got. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging Ooh. some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, cool. So that's that way, in the shallows. Crew reported their sea glide damaged. Okay. 
We'll go ahead and build up the lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Okay, I'm down with lubricant. <laughs> no, okay. The sea glide. We need copper. That's under electronics. Copper wire. We need two ores. Gosh darn it. All right. In that case, let's just build a standard O2 tank because we need that in order to stay under the underwater longer. Okay, cool. New blueprint acquired. Okay, we can only hold one 30 seconds of oxygen. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we can go underwater. Ooh, I, yeah, I think it doubles up. So we have 75 seconds of oxygen now, which is so much better. Because b before we were under there for like four and a half seconds and we were like... <laughs> Alright guys, I think that was a pretty successful episode. We did quite a lot of things. We got the survival knife, the repair tool, the scanner. We got the oxygen tank and a few other things. So I think we're, I think we're okay. And we've only been attacked probably about four times. <laughs> so Subnautica is still a fun game and I really enjoyed it. If you guys did and you want to see more, if you want to see Subnautica episode 2, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe because I do appreciate it when you guys subscribe and share my channel with others. Get the word out there. The channel's been growing so fast and I appreciate that very much. But anyway guys, as always, I will talk to you later.